Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyber Fuel Studios. My name is Lewis and today I'll be making a quick guide on how to summon and kill the Elder. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all of our new tutorials. So let's get right into the video. So before you start trying to fight the Elder, there's a few things you're going to need to get first. The first of which is some armor. So the regular troll armor will do. So this just consists of the troll hide cape, troll helmet, the leather pants, and the tunic. So in total, it costs you about 30 troll hide, which isn't too hard to do. Just farm some trolls, and this should give you enough armor to go ahead and defeat the elder. The next thing you're going to need is a fine bow. Now this is an upgrade from the crude bow. To make this, you're going to need 10 fine wood, 10 core wood, and 2 deer hide. To get fine wood, all you need to do is go chop down a birch tree with a bronze axe. Now, if you haven't already gone and gotten some bronze, we have a video on our channel that you can go check out. It tells you how to get bronze and everything you need to make it. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. So when you've made this, you want to go ahead and you want to upgrade this to a tier 4. This will take a few fine wood and a few core wood to do, probably around 20, uh, 20 of each. So it's not too difficult to get to level 4. And then finally, what you're going to want to build is some arrows. I suggest just making the normal fire arrows. You don't need anything fancy like bronze arrows. These fire arrows will do the trick. It's just 8 wood, 20 resin, and 2 feathers. And this will give you 20 fire arrows. And this should uh, just get like uh, 150, 200 of these, and you should be good to go. The next thing you'll need to summon the Elder are these Ancient Seeds. Now you get these from killing Tier 2 Grey Dwarfs or killing an actual Grey Dwarf Spawner. So if you kill a Grey Dwarf Spawner, it'll guarantee to give you one Ancient Seed. But if you don't want to kill it, you can just sit there, farm the Grey Dwarfs, hope that Tier 2 spawn and farm those, and those will also drop you some seeds, which is a good way to get them. Uh, you need three of these to be able to spawn the Ancient Dwarf, but when you've got those, next thing you want to do before you actually head off is make some food. Now, I suggest making some Queen's Jam. This just takes 8 raspberries and 8 blueberries. It's quite good, gives you 30 health, 40 stamina for 1,200 seconds, which is better than most foods early game. The next thing I suggest is getting some meat. So this can just be normal meat from bars or the tail meat. So now that you've got your bow, your armor, and your food, you are all ready to now set off on your way to kill the elder. So when you get, uh, you want to travel to wherever the elder spawner is on your map. For me, it wasn't quite far away; it was just across the ocean. You want to go. You want to put the ancient seeds onto your hot bar and sacrifice them to the little shrine. So once you do this, the elder will spawn. Now the elder has two main attacks that you want to be wary of. The first one is that he will raise like tree trunks out of the ground to come and attack you. So with these, if you stand in the area, it will hit you. Um, they will slap you and they will do a lot of damage. So what you want to do is you want to run to the opposite side of the little shrine. The next attack that he will do is he will fire these like um, thorn, thorns at you. So again, what you want to do is you want to stand behind the pillars when he actually does this attack. This is purely because he cannot kill these, he cannot destroy uh, these pillars. So by doing this, it'll block the damage. So you just want to hide behind here with your bow charge and then you want to fire at his head. That will do the most damage. So if you keep doing this over and over again, you will eventually kill him. So you just want to kite him around this kind of square altar, uh, keep him behind the pillars and making sure you don't get close to him and running away from his roots that spawn in the ground. Now, this boss can be done uh, solo and duo. Obviously, it's better when you do it cooperative with more players, but it is definitely possible to do solo. It takes a bit longer, but it is still very easy. As long as you hide behind these pillars and run away from the roots, everything should be fine. Uh, as you see in the uh, footage, I just hide behind cover, charge up, my charge up my bow, and fire when he's not using his little thorn attack. These are the two attacks that he should use, and you should be able to easily kite him out he will start walking around and trying to follow you sometimes when he does that all you have to do is just kite him around run away and make sure you just stay behind the pillars so if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time goodbye